Aloha friends. Welcome to the shade garden. Let us talk today about the dual body. Because to experience duality, you must have a dual body. And since <clears throat> nobody really ever, ever talked about it or taught about it, I reckon people did talk about it and teach about it, but very few. Because you have to just realize right off the bat, if you're in... If you're in a reality that is a group think type of reality, and understand and understand that the the group think aspect of reality changes with the ages. And now we're getting into astrology, which I'm not going into. I'm not, I'm really not well versed in astrology. I just understand the concept of astrology, which is enough for me. That's enough for me. I get it. I get it. So, understanding that, that the groupthink aspect of an astrological age, the last one being Pisces, there is a groupthink dynamic. Oh, there was, because we're no longer in Pisces now, we're in Aquarius. And the group think aspect that has been so rooted into these bodies is unraveling. And that unraveling plays out in the <clears throat> external realm as all the stuff that you're seeing and hearing and it covers everything, everything from what people perceive to be, you know, freak storms and what people perceive to be divisions among humans and the rising up, if you will, of the ego to try to double down on its ignorance and its opinions, and its judgments. But then you realize, or you see, the folly of doing that, because it's not fixing anything, it's not helping anything, and in fact, it's making it harder on everybody, but mainly harder on the ego that has doubled down on its folly and ignorance. Another good example of that would be the people in their religious paradigms still trying to hang on to their saviors and their deities and all of the stuff that has already come to light, already been exposed. I was about to say already been explained, but I don't think there's too many people that have, are able to explain it. So it has already been explained. It's a matter of, did you happen to come across one of the people that could explain it? Because an ego cannot explain it. So you're moving closer to your dual body, your understanding of your dual body and how it operates, how it functions. And so that body, the one I was just talking about, the one that's got the ego, the one that's got the mind, the one that has the body, 
is half of you. The other half of you is completely invisible to the sensory eyes, has a consciousness that is beyond the mind of the body, has access to all-knowing or the Akashic Record or your memories. Okay, and these two bodies are not really all that compatible, but yet they're able to become one, and they're able to be one. But this requires cooperation from the ego, from the mind. See, most humans in this reality, because of the deception that has gone on, they are fully convinced and they fully believe that self is that body and its accompanying mind, which is very limiting to a person to a persona, very limiting, because it does not allow you to see reality, it only allows you to see the illusion. But see, if you think that the illusions that you're seeing are reality, then you're going to take it way more serious than it really is. You're going to double down on your folly to save face because you, your saving face is super important to the ego. You've got to uphold everything that you have built in this illusion or in your life. And it would be quite devastating to come to realize that you have built upon a faulty foundation and that everything you think you know and that everything that you have built and constructed is going to come to nothing. Which makes you feel ignorant at first because you're like, how in the hell could I have been fooled this way? I thought I was the smart one. And that's the problem with the ego. It thinks that it's so clever and so smart. And it is quite clever and it is quite smart. But it, what it is not is it's not very advanced. And the only way that it really gets advanced is through cooperating with the spirit. And the spirit is very advanced. And we're coming into this understanding right now. It's happening all around you with every person you know. The interpretations are where the confusion happens. Because again, these confused egos that don't even know themselves are not going to be able to shed very much light on the confusion in this world, in this realm. Because they don't even know who they are really, in truth, let us say. So that is why there are endless YouTube channels that will spin you around intellectually in the egoic mind and try to get you to form your opinion. Because the ego is really in misery and misery, as you know, loves company. And so these lost, confused egos 
don't want to feel like they're being abandoned and left alone with their ignorance and their ignorant creations. And so they've got to try to stir up your emotions and when you lose control of those emotions, you ground and root yourself in that body, the sensory body. And you ground and root yourself in that mindset. And that is why, my friends, it is so difficult seemingly so difficult for people to wake up as we call it to come out of the duality reality and into the oneness reality so you must begin your journey within you must begin to understand your dual body and how it works while you're in duality you will not always be in duality therefore you probably will not always have a dual body and it's very much like a split personality. And this is mirrored in your very physicality itself. Because if you cut yourself right down the center, you're gonna have two mirror images of what you think of as yourself. And looking at it with your eyes, you would say, well, that is exactly the same. The piece on the right is exactly like the piece on the left. But there is something very different about each half. Very different. And it takes your consciousness, your spirit body, to understand that and what that difference is so take a second what do you think the difference in the two halves of your body that's been split down the middle two mirror image is of yourself your body but yet they have something very different about them and the point of um, what I'm telling you here is to kind of help show you that you have a dual body and that it even is, you have a clue in your very physical structure itself. And what is it? It's your brain. Your brain. The right half of your brain is a very different brain than the left half of your brain in terms of what it controls, what it does, what its functions. And I would assume probably memories and many other things. So this is showing you duality in the actual physical structure itself. They look the same, but they are not the same. They function differently. All right, your body, your physical body, and let's say your etheric body, look the same, let's just pretend, even though one of them's invisible, one of them's visible. But if you could see the one that's invisible, it's in the shape of your body, let's say. It looks like you on the external. But they're very, very different. Just like your right brain and your left brain are quite different. 
So, this is some good meditation stuff right here. Meditate on your dual body. Try, you know, understanding it. And see, uh, let's talk about meditation real quick. Meditation means many different things to many different people, and there's different methods of meditation. When I'm talking about meditation and suggesting you meditate on something, it's not the type of meditation where you're going to sit and empty your mind and clear everything and just be in that silent oneness where hopefully no thoughts are arising. But what I'm, the meditation I'm talking about usually on here is the contemplative pondering type of meditation where you are intentionally focusing on a specific thing, thought, idea, and holding that and focusing upon that until more information arises within you that will give you insight and clarity yourself so that when you have your aha moments and you have your great awakening if you're not there yet and you come to understand all this spiritual stuff that's seemingly somewhat confusing for a while but again we're dealing with two different bodies two different minds coming to be one integrating and cooperating see your ego is not going to die ever well, I don't know about ever, but it's not going to die here in duality. And so it's going to have to get, you're going to have to work with yourself until your ego is able to take correction and direction from your consciousness, from your spirit. So you really need to get in touch with that half of your dual body. We, we, we've been living uh, we've been living with a severe handicap or disability. because of the Piscean dupe that went on for many, many, many years. That rooted us, once again, rooted us in the ego, in the egoic body and the mind and separated us from the consciousness, the spirit body and all knowing. Meditate on it, my friend. Get in touch with yourself. Go deep, deep, deep within. And all of this stuff will be verified within you. If you're looking for verification and confirmation in the external, you're not going to get very far with it. Because all of the deeper truths, the deeper knowledge... The wisdom is verified within. Namaste until next time, my friends.